The technology sealed in the big mountain research centers cannot save you. So cower in your think tank. Wait for the end. That's all. Uh, goodbye. Mobius. Always the same broadcast. He's clearly mad, driven insane by his flawed There's a Kappa emote on YouTube? kindergarten level research methodology. What are we going to do? There's no way we can breach the Forbidden Zone. There's those robot scorpions everywhere. The Forbidden Zone, where no brain has ever entered, nor ever returned. Except Dr. Mobius. And the technologies that could save us. They are out of our reach. And Dr. Mobius mocks us. Did you see his cracked monitor? He's clearly let himself go. What? Ask the lobotomy for help? A, I think you need the fluid levels in your logic assist pumps checked. If this lobotomy responded, Dr. Klein, then it is clearly intelligent. Perhaps even displays heretofore unknown levels of helpfulness. Heretofore. But what if it's brain? We scooped that out. We don't even know where we left it. And for putting it back in, none of us have the knowledge. Yes, but it's still aware and responsive. Look at it. It's regarding us even now, with its big teddy bear eyes. If we ask it politely, and leave the part about the unnecessary, ruthless lobotomizing out, it might be favorably disposed to us. You removed my brain! We removed your brain, yes. So soft, barely wrinkled, yet so flush with knowledge and experience. Brain extraction technology has been standard practice at Big Mountain for an immeasurable amount of time. Once the brain was out, then came the coils. The Tesla coils. The coils of Nikola Tesla. Brainless perk. Your brain has been replaced with advanced technologies. Your head can no longer be crippled and it was resistant to chem addiction. And shock from bodily damage. Yeah, Aid, no need to brag. Wherever your brain is, it's Soft transmitting brain. thoughts to you through the... what? The, um... Uh... The Tesla coils in its head! This is fortunate in many respects. If your brain was anywhere in the dome, why, you could access your aggression centers. Circumventing the pacification field, this is a no-no. This we is a no-no. We do not <laughs> want that. This Reminds is a no-no. days in American High and Richie Marcus. It doesn't explain the laser sutures on my chest and on my spine. Darla, was it necessary this time? I assume full responsibility. I take my duties in the prodding and excision of living, breathing tissue quite seriously. Although in truth, the autodoc had done most of the work already. Quite industrious, almost cut into all my investigations. Once it had removed the brain and I misplaced it, other organs began to cry for direction, using your nerves as telegraph wires. Rather than let them send their signals, I removed them as well. Shh, little organs. Go to sleep in your tanks. Dala loves you. First was the heart. Heartless perk. The scars on your chest seem to confirm what the think tank is saying. You cannot be poisoned. And filters in your artificial blood pump will regulate bleeding and healing, allowing all healing items to function at a higher level. Robots are now confused by you and 50% likely to, le oh, less likely to score a critical hit. was the heart. Brain was first. Third was the spine. Spineless. What's up, TM? How far am I into the game? Um, Story-wise, I'm not really sure. Like... Because I don't know like where the end is, but we did the Dead Money DLC, and we're just starting the uh, Old World Blues DLC, right? That's what it's called. 
Um, due to complications with the procedure, your spine has been replaced as well. Your torso can no longer be crippled, and your strength and damage threshold have been increased. Wow. Spine. Wow. Totally overrated, that arrangement of vertebrae. Look at me, with my lumbar and thoracic curvature. Never had a use for any of that. Spineless is what I prefer. Took out my heart, brain, and spine. That auto-dock junk heap was one of Mobius's creations, like the rest of the talking scrap metal in the attic. After that, the brain lost itself. Not in the metaphysical sense. Might have gotten flushed into one of the pipes. Actually, that's pretty likely. Um... If so, it was flushed all the way to Mobius! Hurts can be changed Flush. later. That is the What's sound of yet? flushing! Why the Fisher of Rolando? Enough of this biological surgery talk! Lobotomite, listen to my voice. It denominates me to ask, but we need your help. In most okay. probable of probabilities, our enemy, Mobius, has your brain. No, we brain. still have like one or two more this DLCs. Is not good. He will most likely come after our brains next. We want you to stop him, somehow, with science. Okay. That is correct, yes. I hope you're not demonstrating resentment now. If you are, well, we can Yeah, we have, have two that. more. Can we keep the perks? I'm not really sure. We have no idea! This line of questioning isn't important to us right now! Why are you asking these tangential questions? Stop it! We need these technologies. You need to get them. You must get them. You are equipped to retrieve the technologies with your primitive form. We are not. Okay. It's kind of embarrassing. You have hands and uh, a heartbeat, sort of. Yes, exactly. And Simon eyes, X. mostly the hands. There's door handles and lockers and. Enough. We need your help. Will you help us? I mean... Excellent. I don't really have this a choice. This is turning out much better than the activate the retreat protocols and cower in my room idea I had earlier. Agreed. Oh, and I've used my robotical knowledge to, um, uh, transmit the radio map waves to... Settle down, Eight. I would have gotten it in a second, all right? Eight's transmitted the last known coordinates of the research centers. They, um... They, well, move sometimes. Or get buried. Or blow up. That's got 1,300 XP. All we need are the schematics. This does not mean we do not want the cold hard technology, however. So do not give in to your biological tired laziness and decide you would sweat too much carrying them. You have a new spine. Use it. And even if you die in the act of reclamation, simply reaching them will auto-transmitify the schematics to us. That is still good. For us. Okay. What are these technologies? The technologies are the X2 transmitter antenna array, used to focus coherent thought at excessively high frequencies. The psychoanalytic cardiac dampening sneaky stealth yeah, the suit, a suit like nothing this world has ever heard, seen, or could ever see. And AIDS sonic sound wave emitter projecto gun. Able to broadcast sound at lethal frequencies. It also gives a great biogel massage. There. We have informed you of all we need. We estimate if you are focused, your time investment will be minimal. Uh, by our standards. If you work quickly, you will be the recipient of a gesture of gratitude from us. We do not bestow these old world gestures lightly. Our intentions exactly. The important thing is you rush quickly through this task so as not to waste our time. 
Do not get curious, or you will end up like the cat of Schrödinger. We feared you would be tempted to explore Big Mountain Crater and examine the many amazing non-mandatory research labs that lie off your designated path. The many such optional explorations are discouraged. Work hurriedly as if you have blinders on, and leave curiosities and items of interest alone. So many sciences and developments. Pass them by. Let impatience and the desire to simply finish, to end it all quickly and carelessly, guide you. That makes me, like, suspicious, though. Right you are, Ace. Yeah, like the results something. will make a note about how quickly you ran our maze. Our experience. Nobel challenge. After all, there will be plenty of time afterward to partake of the experiments once our bidding is done. That is correct. You must walk upon your many penis feet. <laughs> much oh my god. Than our advanced hovering robotical frames. The little teddy bear could always run right into the pylon perimeter on its thick, turgid feet, returning it to us quickly and directly. Yeah, directly. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> The radar fence that surrounds the big mountain crater will prevent, uh, protect you from straying beyond the facility. The mighty radar fence protects us all. Get too close to the blinking posts and the proximity warning shall be your warning. You are too close. If you get near it, your vision will blur as the electrodes in your head shut off one by one. Click, click, click. Possible memory loss will occur, along with long-term nerve degradation. It is tied to not having a brain attached to your nervous hey, system. Hey, Super Mega! What's up? How's it going? to worry about. Such degradation would take many lifespans to become evident, and all biology dies. Oh god, hi Apollo. Such so tiny inconveniences oh, are less my than god. the greater convenience and conveyance. You see, if rendered unconscious by the pylons, you will be returned to the sink, seemingly instantaneously, by your deadened perceptions. One dollar from Super Mega Punch. I said hi, Loco. Jeez, why you no say hi back? Super Mega Punch, please. That was too slow. I said hi first. So get wrecked. I know, Romeo. I heard there was free pizza in this chat. Uh, I don't know about that. Oh, uh, Dr. Klein? Dr. Klein? Hide your dongers, hide your kids, if hide your wives, and follow creators in chat. True. What is it? The lobotomite is asking me things, oh, and I'm trying to ignore them. My processors can't ignore you both at the same time. Well, you know how we asked it to fetch the sonic emitter thing? Turns out we already have it. <laughs> what are the odds? Rex, what is mega. this, a high school science fair? Get your act together. You're making us look like a collection of round earthers. You're always yelling. My receptors can't take it anymore. And neither can my feelings. I am yelling because you contaminated specimens can't keep your probes off the volume knob on my voice module. Oh my god. It is truly the end of all intelligence when a lobotomite speaks more wisdom than you geniuses. So, Super if we sense. have the sound wave, sonic projecto thing gun, then what in Heisenberg's name do we need from X8? Anyone? I believe we need a new frequency embedded into the gun. It was designed to broadcast many sounds once charged. We just don't know the frequency. And it is lost in X8. Just as X8 is forever lost to us. The sadness of my high school days. The sadness of my youth. My youth lost. Oh. Oh, really, Boros? All you did in high school was call me Fink Tattletail and all the kids you hated. You little teacher's pet brown hound. Ooh, Give shots the fired. The bottomite, the emitter. Does it have an audio shots effect fired. frequency loaded? Uh, 
I don't think so. Wait. What is he doing? I think he's sunjaculating into the gun. Getting it warmed up. Ding. Turkey's done. You give it to the lobotomite. I'm not touching that thing. Oh, I don't think so. I'll do it if you two are going to be ashamed of your own technological needs. Let me give it a little sonic sterilization first. All right. All antibacterial fresh. Here, my little teddy bear. I have thoroughly removed all Robco Terminal code spew from the device. It is clean, shiny, and ready for your hands. What did it say? Spit lead? What, like pencils? Oh, I think it wants a combustion pistol. A gun? Are you mad? We can't give it a gun. Guns kill. Leave big open holes in you that are like sores, but worse. The age was invitational next correct. month. We already have given the teddy bear a lethal sonic death ray, filled with his sonic ejaculate and sterilized by my soft wooing. <laughs> Giving the teddy bear a gun would be the equivalent of following a glass of hemlock with an Abraxo chaser. I can't, I can't take it. Ah. If you're going to bring the Socratic method into it, fine. Give the Lobato bear a combustion gun. Burroughs, don't you have something like that? Are you mad? We can't give it a gun. Guns? Wait, I said that already. Yes, I have the Cyberdog gun. With the little floppy metal ears and the curious nose sensor. Here. Fine. Gun. That gun makes me uncomfortable anyway. Always worried it's going to hump my chassis. Anything else, lobotomite? Oh my god. Oh my god. Fine. Moros, more ammo. The good stuff. Top shelf ammunition. Let's see. Hollow point? That's worthless, but tasty. Oh, and here's some JFP. As if bullets need jackets. The JFP might make it ill and poop a lot, but when you're hungry, you're hungry. What kind of gun is this? Look who is he describing me, Apollo, please. These have been sterilized too, right? The sonic emitter should be sterilized and more than enough for you to encircle your warm hands around, cradling it gently with your finger muscles. Careful where you're pointing that. That device wasn't always a weapon. Oh my god. It was more like a force field kind of thing. Once. Force fields prevent us from moving, forward or backward. They are irritating. The sonic emitter was specially designed to disable our own safety fields here in Big Mountain. When some of us lost access passes, Dr. O. That only happened once. And I know you were behind stealth fielding my lab keys, Dalla. You formographer. <laughs> Dr. O. You rewind that comment. Plenty of rewinding already going on in your filmography tapes. Surprise the things don't snap out of their cases with repeated observations. I can't, guys. I can't even handle this, this game right now. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god. Maybe. Well, no, not currently. Yeah, we lost that part of the schematics. Or Boros did. In one of his stupid labs. Or inside one of his stupid pets. It is lost. 
All questions lead to this conclusion. The blue fields within Berg Mountain shall be fielded with force forever. <sighs> okay. Fine, so yes. Get these things for us. Do not attempt to comprehend their complicated schematics. That is for us to do. Well, good. What are the token words spoken in this case? Uh, thank you? Uh, yes. Thank you. What, Super Mega? Wait. Oh my god, Apollo. <laughs> oh, please. It's a decline. The lobotomite will need rest, recuperation, things like that. I volunteer my chambers so it might be stared at. My monitor radar slowly scanning its form to collect sensitive data. No! That would put it too close to us. It could press buttons, turn lights on and off, and worse, let other lobotomites in. We could give it Mobius' old room. This is where its brain got scooped out anyway. And plus, some of its parts are already there. Might be more comforting for it to hang out with its spine and heart. Home is where the heart is, after all. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> I suppose. We'll have to move that couch out of there. Been putting that off too long. Hey, hormonal says, hippo, how you doing Lama today? Might take the Sing Central Intelligence personality chip and reinstall it. That stuffy Mobius program Butler can walk the lobotomite, feed it, barter with it for us. It would also prevent you oh, from okay, the Mega. village and taking up residence there with my teddy bears. And it would be nice to have it so. Oh my God! This freaking robot. <laughs> combined with my desire <laughs> to keep the think tank lobotomite free has swayed me. Here, I present the Sync Central Intelligence. Lobotomite, take this chip to the sink. Plug it in and make sure the chip oh, is good, clean or hippo. it could Thanks. skip. Wow, when and Roland Hippopotamus? Biologic demands, you need Wait, do you guys sink. know each other? It will cater to most of your you guys just walked whims. in at the same time. Are you guys IRL friends or something? Like you guys both came in? Okay. I cannot dispute your so logic. Quadri Do we quadri have objects to activate moves? the chip's exchange routines? What? Like, stuff? Things? Yes. Things. I don't know. The hippos roll in together, like a eh? <laughs> Nuka-Cola or Sunset Sarsaparilla bottle caps lying around. It's not currency, per se. Still might be enough to trick the thing's trade routines. Mobius put that test line for caps in the code as a debug command, I think. I don't believe that was Mobius's reason. His wild speculation concerning post-Holocaust economic systems was quite extensive and of high decibel. Enough! Surrender these oh my God, Mr. Craig. bottle caps, Nuka and Sunset alike. In their role as things, they will serve as adequate test subjects. All right, all right. Here, cap away. Hey, oh, Wolfie. Chokes on them. Okay. Yes, you may need to wiggle it in a bit, but don't force it. We can't recode them if you break it. There is no more we can do to aid you, and our patience levels are depleted. Now go. Rest in the sink if you must, but leave us to our research. Uh, if you're done, can we move again? My biogel's starting to crampagulate. Of course! Go land your science stations! Go! I am surrounded by children. Wow. Okay. Wow. Save. Your patience levels are depleted. That was legit, like, 20 solid minutes of dialogue. It was funny, though. I didn't realize they were separate robots. What do they do? 
Breaking news! Talking lobotomite arrives from Think Tank. Its purpose, unknown. Undefinable. Its presence here, impossible. Talk to the purple one? Oh? Oh, yes. I'm not going to bother correcting you. At least you got the doctor part correct. I can be grateful for that, at least. Stop the presses! Just in for my eye monitors. Is that Rob Kotek on your arm? It is. Oh, we have to talk to them anyways. What's your agenda bringing that in here? My pit boy? How dare you bring Rob Kotek hey, in Hey, Duck here. Rogers, how's what it going? Are you showing off? Great Robert oh House my god, and Apollo. Company are. Ooh, we can make secure a Bye, TS. Any robot those geniuses a big mountain can Thank make. you, TS. Take I care. Years. Uh, you're lucky I don't have hands to tear that dip boy off your arm, or feet to stomp on its stupid metal guts. Ugh. Damn, Robco. Don't need to worry about Mr. House anymore. <laughs> worry about House? Why would I do that? Hope he died alone in a dingy room, streaming his last remaining bodily fluids into jars. And him and his dirty girl bots. Don't even get me started on those filthy biological catcher's mitts. Okay. Fine. Ask. What's up, Taylor Hall? You said hi every, like, five minutes, but hi, hi again. What's up, Bessie Pants? You have another name? Yeah, I do. It wasn't always O. I just took that one by default, because sometimes it's easier to accept the mistake as long as the purpose works. I don't want to get into it. It's a sore topic with me. It makes my gel ripple. Great! Psychology! Clearly the worst of the We're about to level up. Right after Colosto Diuretics. Okay, so my name is an O. Never was. It was circular, a single character, digit, but not O. But even with enhanced sensors, no one here could get it right. Always kept seeing the letter, not the number. Damn. Can't pass these intelligence checks. I might as well take Dala up on that cell vivisection competition. Forget this. It's like talking to Klein's rear shell. What about it? Okay. I'd have a few left. Let me check. Can I qu yeah, quandary you? Quandary you most? Here you go. Keeps the place tidy. Nice, Duck Rogers. They're bringing back the PJ Sultan. Oh, nice. That's good. That was cool. Take the Mentats. All things robotical. You see a robot? I made it. See a broken robot? I made it that yeah, way. Yeah, okay, we'll do mental. He constructed it down to parts. I have a gift with machines. Okay. Who asked you? You just wait until a working machine threatens you, and you'll wish I was around. Okay. Ah, predictable. Okay. If they kept confusing the letter with a number, your name is Dr. Zero. Yes, thank you. Zero. I am Zero. How hard is that? A narrow, thin zero. Okay. Zero's my name. I'm proud of it, all right? It doesn't get the recognition it deserves. Truth be told, my emotional attachment to it doesn't even register compared to just having people recognize the difference. It's just that they're both sort of round and hollow, so when they monitor scan them, they assume that, oh, it's O. Oh, vivisect me, please. <laughs> oh, damn it. I can't pass. Oh, man. Oh, we leveled. Well. Fine. Wait, actually, um... I might as well take Dala up on that self vivis Okay. Well... Alright, bye! Nice. Um... Let's go with... 
Let's go science. Let's go mm, medicine. And 